From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Sportsline. Hey there, Titans Talk on your television. Steve Lehman here with you. Glad you are here with us tonight. It is a Monday. It is the day after a Titans game, and so we welcome your comments about yesterday's loss to the Cincinnati Bengals. Final score 20 to 16 over there at Nissan Stadium. And so phone lines are open tonight here on Titans Talk. 737-7767 is the number. And let's face it. The disappointment of yesterday is profound because this is the team that knocked the Titans out of the playoffs last January. And it was almost an identical score. Evan McPherson's field goal in January on the final play eliminated the Titans, who then were the top seed in the playoffs in the AFC, on a 19-16 game. Prevented them from having a shot to not just go to the AFC Championship and host it the next week, but to potentially go to the Super Bowl, potentially win the Super Bowl. Everything was there for this team last year, and the Bengals ended that. Yesterday, they come in, and they beat them again 20-16, to almost an identical score. And the thing that really troubled me about yesterday, and when I watched the game over, it stands out again. It didn't feel like it was a redemption game. It didn't feel like it was a revenge game for this team. And they talked all last week about how more than half the team is different from last year. And I understand that. It is a different year. You, you don't get to go back and win a playoff game by winning yesterday. You don't get the chance to win the Super Bowl by winning yesterday. The only thing you can do for that is to get to January and give yourself another shot. I understand all of that. But yesterday when you walked into that stadium and you, you heard the atmosphere and you watched the game, it didn't feel like it was a game that everybody was looking forward to. It didn't feel like the game that at least I had circled on my calendar ever since the NFL schedule was released back in May. It felt like just another out-of-division AFC game against a good team. And that's fine. But what really bothers me is I don't think that's how the Bengals viewed it. The Titans talked about how it was a different team and it was a different year and it doesn't matter what happened in the playoffs. This was all about one game. That's how they played. That's how the fans showed up and reacted. The Bengals walked in somehow with a chip on their shoulder once again. They took everything that was negative said about them from last year's game, a game in which they won, but gave up an NFL record in the playoffs, nine sacks, struggled at the line of scrimmage for the most part against the Titans, couldn't run the ball at all, gave up some big plays to the Titans in their own running game. And they took all of those statements People saying that the Titans dominated them in the trenches. People saying the Titans would have won the game if it wasn't for the three turnovers that Ryan Tannehill threw. They took all of that and I guess plastered it on their bulletin board and said, we're going to go down there and we're going to prove people wrong again. And they came down here and they did that. This is still not a very good Bengals offensive line. Yesterday, the Titans got one sack. After nine in the playoffs, they got one yesterday. Yesterday, the Bengals ran for over 100 yards. They outran the Titans. They out-Titans the Titans. That is what is alarming to me about this. And it's the one time where perhaps Mike Vrabel's message about the game and the message about what was at stake, maybe did this team a disservice. His even keel nature about everything generally serves them very well. But yesterday was a game where I think you can use the fuel from last year as motivation. I think you can drive that one home. And I'm not sure the Titans match the intensity level of the Bengals yesterday in a game that they should have been more intense based off of what happened last year. And further evidence of that is, I don't know if you've seen this video, and we can't play it here because it's too profane. 
But Bengals center Ted Karras, after the game, is walking off the field and he is demonstratively yelling at anyone who would listen, mainly Titans fans, people in the stand still, and telling them where they can go. He clearly didn't like the treatment that they've gotten there last year or yesterday. He didn't like what people said about Tennessee. He didn't like how they were compared to the Titans. He didn't like the fact that people talked about, well, if Ryan Tannehill didn't throw the interceptions, the Titans win that game. The Titans dominated the line of scrimmage. Jeff Simmons and those guys, they were going to dominate the Bengals' offensive line just like they did last year in January in the playoffs. He didn't like it, and neither did any of the other Bengals. And yesterday, they played like it when the Titans did not. And then in a big picture sense, if you're the Titans, whatever you think the motivation was yesterday, here's the thing. Last year in January, you walked away from the game understanding the missed opportunity because you looked at it and said, the Titans are better in this area, in that area, in that area, and it prolayed out in the game. The problem was they turned the ball over three times. And as we all know, when you turn the ball over in the NFL, you're probably going to lose. You're probably going to lose. Here's the thing about yesterday's game. Nobody turned it over. It was a clean football game. But the Bengals were better. The Bengals outrushed the Titans. Joe Burrow was better than Ryan Tannehill. The Titans defense gave up more explosive plays than they've given up in a long time this season. They only got one sack. Bengals were better on special teams, with maybe the exception of Ryan Stonehouse punting. The Bengals were better yesterday. And to me, and we'll get into more of this tonight, because I asked it last night on the local power companies of Middle Tennessee Sunday Sports Central to Keith Bullock, and he wasn't as concerned about it. And look, it's only one game. There's a lot more to play in December, and then another game in January, before you even get to the games that you're really concerned about which would be the playoffs. Keith Bullock wasn't overly concerned about how he watched the Titans lose yesterday. I'm a little bit more concerned because this is another example of them going up against a quality AFC team, a team that's likely going to be in the playoffs come January. A team they might face. As a matter of fact, if the season ended today, it would be the Titans at home again against the Bengals in round one. This is the type of team you're going to have to beat in January. Just like you're going to have to beat the Bills. Just like you're going to have to beat the Chiefs. Those are the games you're going to have to win. Titans haven't beaten any of them. Now, they've been close. They could have won yesterday. They certainly could have won in Kansas City a couple of weeks ago. But they haven't. So this is another example that the Titans are not winning the games against the best teams. And yesterday was the type of game they should win. Turnovers were even. Maybe you'd like to see that defense force a turnover or two. But if it's an even-steven game when it comes to turnovers... Then it just comes down to your identity and playing the type of game that you want to play. Yesterday, the Titans couldn't get to their identity offensively because they can't run the football right now. And that's a real problem. Ben Jones being out is a huge impact on this offensive line. He's smart. He's tough. He sets them up before the play. He's probably their best lineman physically during the play. So much goes through him. And we've seen it the last couple of weeks. A little bit different sledding when it comes to the running game with him out. And yesterday was certainly the case. Derrick Henry had 38 yards rushing on 17 attempts. That is not the recipe this team has to win. They've got to be better than that. And they haven't been for a few weeks now. It's been three weeks since he's topped 100 yards rushing they got to be better in that area. And when they're not, 
it obviously puts a ton of pressure on the passing game. The good news is Ryan Tannehill has made the passing game better since he's been back in the last couple of weeks. The emergence of Traylon Burks has made the passing game better in the last couple of weeks. But yesterday, while they had some big plays in the passing game, they couldn't convert in the red zone. That's another thing about this team's identity. They, yesterday, they got beat by the Bengals at. These are two of the best red zone offenses in the, in the NFL. The Bengals converted in the red zone yesterday with two touchdowns. The Titans went 0 for 3. 0 for 3 on red zone touchdowns for a team that is right near the top of the league in every other game at nearly 75%. Yesterday, they couldn't get it done. They couldn't run the football. They couldn't finish in the red zone. Defensively, they couldn't get pressure on Joe Burrow. They couldn't force turnovers, and they gave up X plays. Those are all of the keys. If you ask Mike Vrabel at the beginning of last week, what are the keys to beating the Bengals on Sunday? That's what he would have given you. He would have given you those five things and said, we need to do well in these areas to win. And the Titans didn't do them yesterday. And they're no secret, those are the keys for the Titans most weeks. But yesterday, the Bengals were better in those areas. And that, to me, is troubling because, once again, it's a quality opponent, the type of opponent you've got to win to be elite in this league. And the Titans got beat at their own game yesterday. And that, to me, is why, while it's a November game, it's not a playoff game, it gives me great pause as I look at this team moving forward. Now, there's still three games up in the division. They're going to win the AFC South. I think that's clear. They're going to be in the playoffs. They are going to host a playoff game. But it's going to be against a team like the Bengals or maybe the Bills, maybe the Ravens. It's going to be against somebody like that, a good football team. And the Titans are going to have to figure out ways that those identity points can stand up and be good enough. Obviously, they can't have the catastrophe of Ryan Tannehill in the playoffs last year. If that happens, they're done. But that goes for any team in the league. If Joe Burrow throws three interceptions, they're going to be done. That can't happen. But what has to happen is the Titans have to be able to rely on their identity. Last year, they could do that. And that's a big difference when you look at last year's team versus this year's team. And there's a lot of similarities. They've both been besieged by injuries. They've both had to overcome a lot. But last year's team overcame a lot and beat elite teams. They beat like nine playoff teams from the previous season last year. They beat teams with elite records last year in the regular season. This year, not so much. The best teams on their schedule They've lost to. And now a few plays here or there could change everything around. They're not that far away. But when they played the Giants, they gave up rushing yards. They gave up X plays. And they lost. When they played the Bills, they got their doors blown off. When they went to Kansas City, they couldn't get the stop that they had to. They couldn't throw the ball at all. That's with Malik Willis, at quarterback. And then yesterday, we've laid it out. They couldn't stick to their identity well enough to beat the Bengals at that game. They're going to have some more opportunities here. They're going to go to L.A. to face the Chargers, a team that's perking up here down the stretch. They're going to get the Cowboys at home. And this weekend, they go to Philadelphia to face what right now may be the best team in the NFL. The Eagles are 10-1, and one, so certainly record-wise, that's who they are. So the Titans are going to have some opportunities here in the regular season to take a step. But yesterday was an opportunity at home to do that and to do it with redemption in mind after last year. And they didn't do it at all. And that, to me, is a bit concerning as you look at this team. Our phone lines are open tonight, 737 7767 is the number we want to hear from you and we will get to your calls as soon as we come back. We'll take our first break. Phone calls right after this here on Titans Talk on New Channel 5 Plus.